Hello everyone, my name is Natasha and I am from Russia. The new year has come and I hope you enjoyed your Christmas holidays. New year is a very important holiday in my country and today I want to introduce you to our Russian New Year traditions, symbols and history. So if you want to feel some Christmas atmosphere and see something especially Russian connected with this wonderful holiday, continue watching this video and let's go! At first, I have to explain one important thing. While in other countries people celebrate both holidays, Christmas and New Year, in Russia we have these two holidays united into one. And it is the New Year, celebrated on the 31st of December. Actually, we have our Orthodox Christmas and it falls on the 7th of January, but it is considered to be a religious holiday and uh, it's not celebrated so greatly as the New Year. That's why when we speak about Christmas traditions in European countries, we should associate them with New Year traditions in Russia. So again, in Russia, the 31st of December the main holiday, 25th of December just the usual day of the New Year's Eve, and the 7th of January a church holiday celebrated mostly by religious people. And there is a question, why New Year is more important than Christmas in Russia? The answer lies in the fact that in the beginning of the last century Christmas was abolished by the Soviet rule according to their atheistic campaign. To get rid of the religious meaning of this holiday, they transferred some of its attributes to another existing holiday, New Year. Thus, a new holiday was kind of artificially created. And in my opinion, this rather short history of New Year makes this holiday especially unique. And now I will tell you about our Russian New Year symbols and how they differ from other countries. The first symbol is Grandfather Frost or Jet Maros in Russian. I have his uh, toy here. Dead Maros is a Russian version of a Christmas gift bringer. He carries gifts in a bag and uh, put them under the fir tree. This character originates from an old Slavic folklore character Maros, and here is his picture. And there are some differences between Russian Dead Maros and uh, American Santa Claus. And now I will show you. I have a toy of Santa Claus as well. And uh, you may see that the fur coat of Dead Maros is longer and his winter cap is a little different. And also he has a magic staff and uh, his beard is longer and uh, what is more sometimes that Maros is depicted in uh, a blue fur coat. The second character who always comes with the first one is the snow maiden or Snigurochka. So this is Snigurochka. In Russian her name derives from a word sneg, which means snow. And she is also a character of old Slavic folklore. In fairy tales she is described as a girl made of snow who came to life. And since Soviet times she is depicted as the young woman wearing a blue fur coat and she is a granddaughter and helper of Dead Maros. Another essential part of a Russian New Year is matinee or party for children. In Russian we call it Utrenik. It comes from a word Utra, which means morning, mostly because these parties are held in kindergartens and schools in the morning. And uh, a traditional Utrinik is impossible without Dead Maros and Snigurochka. They come there to play with kids, to ask riddles and uh, to sing and dance in a ring around the fir tree. Also, for Utrinik children have to dress up in costumes of their favorite characters. I guess that using modern words we can call it cosplay. As for me, when I was in kindergarten, I dressed up as a fairy. Another time I was a lion because I really loved the Lion King and once I was a birch. It's hard to imagine New Year without mandarins. These fruits are really popular and in Christmas days we buy them in large quantities. The reason is that in the Soviet Union they were in short supply, so people could get them only for New Year. And uh, though today we don't have this shortage and we can buy it even in summer, we still have this tradition to buy mandarins only for New Year. And now I will tell you about New Year's feast. Russian people cook really much for the New Year, so much that they have to finish eating it even after holidays. And uh, there is a joke that on the 1st of January you have to eat a one-year-old food. 
On the New Year's table, you can always see baked chicken, potato and some snacks. As for the drinks, Russian people drink champagne, juice and coke. Coca-Cola has become a symbol of New Year for many people, mostly because of their advert video that is shown on TV since the beginning of December. And this video serves like an indicator of upcoming New Year. By the way, there are many memes with a word session written on the car, which means the final exams are coming. It's worth saying that an important part of New Year's table is salads. The most popular salad is Olivier. It's cooked with potato, eggs, meat or sausage, marinated cucumbers, sometimes carrots and canned peas all stuffed with mayonnaise. Olivier is called after the French cook Lucien Olivier, who lived in Moscow in the 60s of 19th century and ran a restaurant there. He was the creator of this salad. And though it has a French name, in the rest of the world it is known as a Russian salad. Olivier is really loved by Russian people, as you can see by this funny video. One more notable salad is селедка под шубой, which means herring under fur. It's a layer salad where pieces of herring are mixed with other ingredients like beet, potato, eggs, apples and all stuffed with mayonnaise. This salad has been a traditional dish for the festive table since 1970s. By the way, the recipe of this salad exists in German and Scandinavian cuisines as well. So, the table is set. And what does a Russian family usually do during their New Year's feast? Mostly people enjoy the meal, chat and watch TV. On the TV there is a speech of Russian President Vladimir Putin, who sums up the results of engine year and wishes people Happy New Year. His speech is followed by the chimes or the Kremlin clock on the red square in Moscow. It strikes 12 times and it means the beginning of the new year. On the federal TV channels there are some musical variety shows with all stars of Russian pop music. Actually, I don't find these shows interesting and many people are tired of them and want something new. And we can say the same about the Putin speech. And what about films? A classical movie of New Year's Eve is The Irony of Fate or Enjoy Your Bath. It's a Soviet movie filmed in 1975. It consists of two long episodes and to be honest, I've never liked this movie or watched it completely. But anyway, it's a New Year's must watch and people really love it. And uh, Home Alone is also a popular New Year movie. Well, there are many amazing movies that can make you feel festive. And you will ask me, what about the New Year tree? Of course, it's the main attribute of New Year in Russia. And like in other countries, we decorate it with tinsel and uh, some Christmas toys. Also, we have a tradition to put a Christmas tree on the city square. And here you can see a video of Christmas tree in my hometown. Sometimes funny situations happen with them. For example, there are some cases when a fir tree was falling in the city of Vladivostok. And uh, last year the fir tree was burning in the city of Yuzhny Sakhalinsk. But these are exceptions and mostly everything is okay and uh, the tree is safe and makes everyone happy. Near the fir you can see some ice figures made in the shape of New Year's symbols. Besides them, there are some ice slates, and children really love them. By this video you can see that in my hometown, Spazdalny, the ice figures are quite modest, while in some bigger cities, like for example in Khabarovsk where I study, the ice figures look way more beautiful. So, this was a video about New Year in Russia. As you can see, this holiday is a combination of old European traditions and uh, new traditions that occurred in Soviet Union. New Year has the atmosphere of childhood, happiness and miracle. It's my favorite holiday and I was glad to share it with you. 
And now I have a question for you. Can you write in comments what Christmas traditions are there in your country? And which holiday do you celebrate most? Christmas or New Year? I will be really interested to read it. For me, it's significant that I'm starting this channel with the beginning of the new year. And uh, further, I'm planning to create more videos about Russia and life here. So, if you are interested in this country and want to learn more about it, you can like this video, subscribe and tap the bell. And the last, I wish Happy New Year to all of you. By the way, Happy New Year in Russian will be с Новым годом. So, с Новым годом to all of you. I wish you strength to do everything to achieve your goals and make your dreams come true. Thank you for watching and see you later.